mission that they had today was to conduct a joint training exercise with the 106th Aviation and the 333rd Military Police soldiers were given a mission with their squad leaders to conduct a cordon and search and then site exploitation. And the mission starts with their squad leaders are given the brief to their team leaders and troops and then they ingressed into the objective via a Chinook helicopter and once they landed on their rally point they had to technically move from one point to another until they made it to their objective which was either to conduct the cordon and search and exploit intelligence and then they were able to pass that on to the operations cell that's working here in the assembly area so that way they could pass that on to their next squad through the rotation to the next rotation and build on that so that way we were able to move this scenario from point A to point B. This type of training goes a little bit more in depth than from basic training. It's good that we have experienced people here that really, really know and care to teach you know, these, these young soldiers how to effectively move as a single unit. The repetitive practice really just kind of hones in on more of like a team mentality as well. So bringing all of that together with these younger soldiers, I think it, it's positive for them because they get to see you know, more experienced people do it and then for them to actually do it and see that they're being successful and see that they're accomplishing the mission and doing their part really just engages them more. It was really cool, but at the same time, it was also pretty nerve wracking. It was really awesome to go on a Chinook. Um, I know that was my first time actually on a Chinook. Uh, so it was really awesome being all the way up in the air and doing a, s a simulated mission that felt also very real in an aspect. And the mission overall, it simulated a lot of stress in real world scenarios. So I feel like it was some great training. We provide controlled stress, which that's what a lot of when you have the actual aircraft landing and then the prop wash and then having to get onto a helicopter where you cannot talk, having to get off the helicopter and then actually have to technically move from one place to another and have to talk via radio and have the controlled stress of having someone shoot at you with paintball guns makes it so that the elevation causes the soldiers to have to react in a real combat-like environment. It was, it was definitely a, a stressful situation, you know, having the unknown, but we spent all day yesterday practicing and really narrowing down the movements that we needed to in order to to kind of bring everything to to light and make it as smooth as possible. Um, room clearing in the dark is it's extremely hard. It's stressful. You don't know you know what's behind a, a dark corner and sometimes if there's obstacles inside that dark room you have to maneuver around them and just being able to move as a, a single unit versus just as an individual and everyone be on the same page really helps. I would love to do more training uh, like we've done today. I think that it's very valuable, especially it helps with retention. Soldiers always want to do the fun stuff. They don't want to sit around. And it also is great for the newer people. They are able to get this hands-on training and experience because you know they only have what they got in basic training in AIT, but there's a whole lot more out here. It, it brings you back to the basics. You know, you have to go back to the basics in order to you know break from that stress and just continue your mission.